The built-in parental control features in Windows 11 enable you to limit activities on your child's account. This includes setting up screen time, limiting access to websites, apps and games as well as imposing restrictions on making purchases. To set up parental controls in Windows 11, you and your child will both need to have Microsoft accounts. Yours will be a parent account and theirs will be a child account that's tied to yours. As the parent account holder, you can turn on parental controls and view reports related to your child's activity. Make sure your account is an administrator. Steps to set up parental control on your Windows 11 PC. First, create a child account. Second, set up and configure parental controls to limit access. Create a child account. First, create a child account for your child for whom you want to set up parental controls in Windows 11. While creating a new child account, you will be asked to create a new Microsoft account to associate with the child's account. Click on Start and click on Settings. Alternatively, right-click the Start button and select Settings in the pop-up menu or press Windows plus I keys to open Settings. Click on Accounts. Click on Family on the right side. In the Your Family tab, click on Add Someone. Log in with your child's account credentials. If they don't have an account yet, create one for them. Click on Create one for a child. Enter an email address for your child. Select Outlook or Hotmail. Click on Next. Enter the password that you want to associate with the new child account. If you don't want your child to receive promotional emails from Microsoft, uncheck this option. Click on Next. Enter the child's name for whom the account is being created and click on Next. Select Country. Enter a birthday of the child. Windows 11 will use the birthday you enter to impose automatic restrictions based on age. Click on Next. Sometimes you might be asked to log in. If prompted, then log in with your account credentials. Click on Sign in with Hello to use Windows Hello Sign in options. Log in. If you live in a region that requires permission to create an account and access Microsoft services, you may be prompted to request or give parental consent. Read through and click on Yes, I agree. If your child is allowed to use non-Microsoft apps with this account, check my child can sign into non-Microsoft apps. Click on Continue. The new child account is created and added to the family group. You can set the basic parental controls here. Click on the Screen Time Limit drop-down and select the option you want. In the Age Limit on Apps and Games drop-down, select the age you want to allow. To get a weekly report of their activity to your inbox, turn on Activity Reporting. To protect your child from mature content, turn on Web and Search filters for Edge. If your child needs permission to buy apps from Microsoft Store, turn on Ask to Buy. Click on Done. Manage Parental Controls in Windows 11. Now that you have configured parental controls, you can start to manage the child's account and manage different types of restrictions. Open Settings and click on Account. Click on Family. Click on Open Family App. Family Safety App opens. Here you will see every account connected to your Microsoft account, including your child's account. Click on the name to go to the Overview tab. In the Overview tab, you can check general information about your child's account, such as screen time, which games your child is playing, or the amount of money spent. If you don't have the time to constantly check the account, scroll down to Activity Settings. There, turn on Activity Reporting, so you can monitor your child's activity on all their devices. Then, turn on the toggle below, Send a weekly email to me. A weekly email will be sent to you and your child. Limit screen time. If you want to limit the amount of time your child spends in front of a screen, you can set a daily schedule. 
in the left pane click on screen time you can decide how much time your child can spend using an individual device or you can set universal screen time limits if you turn on use one schedule on all devices the set screen time limit will be shared across all connected devices to set how much screen time they are allowed click on one of the days edit time limit window opens click on day drop down you will be able to set the screen time limit for each day if you want to set the same schedule for every day you can do that by selecting the every day option select the days for example sunday and saturday and select a time limit on the slider you can edit or add multiple schedules to let the child use the account for multiple time intervals edit the time interval to add a new time schedule click on the add a schedule and specify the time interval this way you can add multiple time intervals set up the screen time limits and intervals and click on done same limits and intervals are set for sunday and saturday set the time limits for devices separately turn off use one schedule on all devices by default the time limits are off for the devices to turn limits on click on the three dots and select turn limits on or click on the device and click on turn limits on now set the screen limits for each device to restrict your child from accessing mature content while browsing you can use content filters click on content filter you can restrict which websites and apps your child can access to keep your child safe online you can enable filters for inappropriate websites and searches or allow access only to approved websites turn on filter inappropriate websites and searches web and filters only work with microsoft edge all the other browsers are blocked you can unblock the browsers in app and game filters this will basically enable safe search with bing and block any mature content on a child's account if you want to allow specific websites only turn on only use allowed websites to always allow educational websites click on always allow educational websites this feature will allow an ai generated list of educational websites click on next this feature is a preview and only works with the latest microsoft edge if you are okay click on done you can customize the list of allowed and blocked websites to add websites that you want to allow on the child's account under allowed sites enter the website address in the add a website box and click on the plus sign once you add the sites you can search and sort the list to search for a website click on search and enter the search criteria in the search box to view the whole list click on x to sort the list alphabetically click on sort and select a direction a to z or z to a to delete a website from the list click on remove to undo the deletion click on undo to confirm deletion refresh content filter settings similarly add websites you want to block under blocked sites additionally in content filter tab you can turn on activity reporting to see and monitor searches and web activity on your child's account click on turn on activity reporting click on okay you can see activity report for a week then move to the apps and games section in the same content filtering tab select an age limit to restrict age restricted apps and games in case your child asks to access an app above age limit you will be prompted for the same you can allow or disallow the requested access 
If you want to allow access to an automatically blocked app, click on the Remove button. To block an installed app or game, go to App and Game Limits. Once the device is connected, you will be able to block the apps and games and set screen times. Click on Spending. You can set spending limits for your child or prevent them from purchasing apps. Turn on Require Approval for every purchase. If your child needs approval before making purchases in the Microsoft Store. If you want to receive an email anytime your child makes a purchase, turn on Spending Notifications. If you are going to give them an allowance to spend, you can click on Add Money and Add Funds to their Microsoft account. The child needs approval to purchase an app above the age limit set in content filters. To change the age limit, click on Edit. It will take you to the content filters where you can change the age. To view the standard content ratings, click on View Ratings. Click on Overview to go back to the Child's Overview tab. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.